Minasan, Konbanwa, Sensei des. What you see before you is a little chart I created to cover the things we went over in class today. As you can see, we covered quite a lot, but I'm going to go through it real quick just as a refresher. I'll get it done in about two minutes. I don't want to waste your time. So, on the left, we have our hiragana words. Notice you can't read all of them yet. We just started hiragana today, but I've put the ones, the items that we did learn in green, just so you can see. Sooner or later, you're going to be able to read all this. Then I put in the middle the Roman characters, how you would spell it in English. And then on the right side, I put the English meaning. So, real quick, here they are. Tatte kudasai. Re, as we bow, and you remember how to bow for boys and girls. Ohayou gozaimasu, how we greet each other in the morning. Suwatte kudasai, you know what to do, you were very good with that. Otoko, onna, which one are you? And then when we meet a Japanese person, your first skill, how do we introduce ourselves? We start off with hajime mashite, followed by your name and des. Then dozo yoroshiku. And then I give you some instructions for how I'm going to direct you in class about your language speaking, like yukuri, do it slower, or hayaku, do it fast, or moichido, do it again one more time. And last but not least, for now, we're stuck with sayonara, farewell but we'll learn other ones in the next couple days that are more appropriate. Going over our hiragana, we did two sets of hiragana. A, I, U, E, and O, and Ka, Ki, Ku, Ke, Ko. I've also written the memory devices. Remember A, the broken antenna on top of the wall. E, the slippery eels, or the two letters of Hawaii. U, grandma says U when hit by the falling brick. E, an elf running through the woods, or an Australian all-in-one, and then ka, the ka goes off the cliff, ki, it looks like a key when you turn it on the side, you can see the little knobs of the key, ku, an Australian kooka bird that actually exists, ke, the rock'em sock'em fighters getting KO'd, and last but not least, the Australian round coin with actually a queen on it, if you remember the pictures. Minasan, that's all it for today. Jane, mata. See you soon.